2013. Um, this is the work that I've worked on for the last two months. That is going to go off today. Uh, this is my personal package right here, or per personal reference to my um, <coughs> license, permits, affidavit from my uh, CPR, uh, um, and that she has done my tax for uh, internal revenue returns since 1991, where she also has uh, completed the farm form schedule. Uh, the, Included our pictures of my work here at Heaven on Earth Avian Acre, including the goldens. I didn't put the blue heads in there. I thought I'd let another shine. Uh, before and after of my uh, place, including my macadamia trees. So this this here is my personal. This is how thin this is, uh, but it's all very very important. <clears throat> now here's here is for all. Of Floridians, this who who propagate the exotic birds. I included the letter that from the property appraiser that makes reference that we are dog and cat breeders uh, with kennels. And I've highlighted that he, he quoted the statute, and I felt that that w I must answer for all of us. Um, I'm hoping you know this. This is my letter with all the exhibits included up to F, I think it is, um, pertaining to aviculture is agriculture. And all of this, all of this work I have done in the last seven years, actually, <clears throat> and how I came up with Avianitarian of the Wild Bird Conservation Act, that aviculture is, is, and I, and I quote that, poultry, fowl, pigeons, ducks, geese, turkeys, etc., etc. And this, this uh, document right here is the invention of aviculture by Aviculture Society, uh, 1894. It's the first volume, first meeting. They named their uh, organization as well as they named aviculturists who attend to live birds. The terminology aviculture was originated to tell the difference between the live birds and the ornithologists, which they refer to as the cabinet dead birds. That is how aviculture came to be and it is documented. This document is from the library, Smithsonian Library, as well as bio um, history or something like that. Um, the MORF Act was uh, put into effect to give universities and schools a land grant to teach agriculture. I submitted that as well. Uh, in my submitting this, I come from the stance that the property appraiser has been correct all along the last 35 years in uh, giving uh, agriculture the classification tax use, agriculture. This is the book that I have in my hand for 50 years. And this, this here is the book, Domestic um, Birds, the uh, Agriculture, Elementary Lessons in Agriculture. And I have submitted copies, papers, with regard to agriculture is agriculture. To assist, I have indexed for any questions, contents, preface, whatever, with the page number that uh, the value board and the Department of Agriculture can look through. I, I am on their side with this, and I'm coming from the stand that they need something from us to show that agriculture is agriculture. Um, I've, I've made, I've come from that stance. Here's the prefix. This prefix shows that um, we have a relationship with man. Uh, it, it's just a beautiful book and it was taught by the um, 
agriculture universities funded by the land grants by, uh, and came about by the Mortel, Mortel Act. Um, I've had to submit two and this is the repeat. And in the back, of course, you see all the exhibits I have, uh, the bibliography, all the libraries that I worked and got my information, universities, and then I took the privilege of copying so they can go to the page from the index right here in front of them and see the chickens, the pigeons, the, the fowl, uh, everything here, uh, canaries, caged birds, all under aviculture lessons, elementary lessons in aviculture. So this is for you, my friends. This is for Floridians. And most of all, this is for your exotic bird birds and for those propagating facilities or breeding facilities of specific exotic birds that want to claim agriculture classification for tax use. Wish me luck. Thank you. I also included a uh, DVD of um, the video of the book that is in my hands that I've had since I was eight years old. This book right here. It's a hundred years old, published in 1913. Um, and this is the book that led me to understand that we who propagate the rare birds, exotic birds, under the Wild Bird Conservation Act of 1992, that we had to be renamed other than aviculturists. We had to have an identification to claim those exotic birds in the WBCA 1992, and that is the avenitarian of the Wild Bird Conservation Act. We can so choose also to be avenitarians of aviculture. However, this is my work of several years that I came to the conclusion that we had to make claim of those exotic birds under that act.